Hello, my name is Rocio Mejia and I am 21 years old. Currently, I am a junior here at Sam Houston. Um, I transferred over from Lone Star in the fall of 2022 um, after I got my Associates of Arts. And it's been pretty fun so far. Um, I've been an online student. So this is actually going to be my first semester going to in-person classes, you know, being with uh, professors, being with my classmates. This is something that I haven't done since I was back in high school, pre-COVID. So um, it's a little nerve-wracking, just a little bit, but I've been looking forward to it. And um, today, actually, um, I have my first class um, and I'm excited for it. So yeah, that's where I currently am. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that my focus is in AC through six bilingual education. Um, I, I sincerely feel like this is the right fit for me, that this is what I meant to do. I cannot see myself doing anything else other than teaching. I, it just, no, <laughs> as simple as that. Um, I honestly feel like this is what I was brought into this world to do, to teach and to learn more myself um education to me has always been my it's always been very very comforting for me and um because of the learning environments that i've been in thanks to my teachers so i hope to be able to do the same for other students um my two-year goals would be to keep up my good grades um, I apologize for any background noise, but yeah, to keep up my good grades, to to learn a lot from field experience, and to be prepared to be the kind of teacher candidate that I need to be in order to perform well when it comes to the year-long semesters that I'll be starting next year. And on top of that, I also need to um, pass my certification tests. Um, well, not certification tests, but the like the content exam, the um, the learning to teach reading one, all those exams, sorry. The name for all that is escaping me right now, but I need to get that together, clearly. So that's definitely a goal of mine. And by the fall semester uh, of next year, fall of 2025, um, I'm set to graduate. I cannot believe that it's... It feels like it's happening so fast, even though we're just at the beginning of 2024, but that's besides the point. After graduating, um, I'm actually planning to move to Michigan to be with my partner. They moved there this year. They actually graduated from Sam Houston themselves last December, and they're starting their career over there. So hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be joining them. But if not, for whatever reason, then, that, that's, then that's okay, you know? Um, I can start teaching here in Texas and really that's the main objective no matter where I end up or with who I end up or just no matter what crazy path life takes me on I want to start teaching as soon as I can after I graduate after I am certified I cannot wait to have my own classroom to have my own set of students and to begin my career it it feels so crazy to talk about now, but I know that like years from now, I'll look back to this and feel proud of myself, hopefully, if all went well, that I pushed through despite everything. There's been so many obstacles that I keep having to overcome. Um, I'm undocumented. I was brought over when I was a year old and just there's been so much so much craziness so far with the government that has prevented me from being able to really uh, to really have a I won't go into too much detail because then this is, this is gonna turn into a 10 minute video but um, basically I'm gonna keep pushing through I'm not gonna let anyone or anything stop me from achieving my dreams even if I have to work twice as hard as most people, I don't care. I'll push through. I'll be fine. I'll I'll be okay. I've been okay so far. So, um, sorry for kind of rambling on there. Um, it needed to be said, I guess. But yeah, um, 
I'm so excited to start the semester. I know it's going to be stressful and overwhelming, but it'll be worth it. It'll honestly be worth it. Um, yeah. Um, thank you so much for listening, and I'm excited to start. Um, I'm I'm excited to start this class. Thank you.